hello everyone how are you i think you you guys are doing well and hopefully now the christmas is coming so i think you will get a good time of you know uh, good amount of time to spend with your family and you know travel and roam around right so yeah so let's get started so today mostly i am going to discuss about you know uh viewer vault registration process so last few days back uh, i already uploaded two video regarding uh, re regulatory information management system from viewer vault and how rim is work and what is rim and what is the overview of rim so if you not watch that two recording please uh, you can watch uh, when you are free right so today i am going to be cover very specific topic that is our registration process rim registration process and uh, let's get started so rim registration so the topic uh, which i going to cover today that is rim registration overview registration object and the feature of registration uh, rim registration overview vault registration is a end to end application for planning tracking and reporting of product and registration information management of health authority interaction and generation of product data message so vault registration if i uh, summarize some few point of vault registration so first is global solution for product and regulatory information and it is a single source for global registration and it manage manufacturing and labeling related change event and it handles activities which is associated for event response and detail medical product information so packaging doses form indication manufacturing specific these are all our medical product information right and integration with vault rim so our registration is part of the vault rim family and it is a single vault and it share a common data model and unique functionality for effective regulatory process management so i'm going to the next slide the registration object so mostly in rim registration object contain registration event object activity object regulatory object application and submission so a uh, flow which i taken please ch uh, check the screenshot here um, i added a key registration object so you already have now what are the key registration object one is event another is activity application regulatory objective submission and registration right so each object link with each other so event link with activity and activity also link with application regulatory objective submission and whole that is link with registration right so how the flow is work let's say a product need to be relabeled or a product needed some modification for a specific country so for that a uh, event is created for a specific country and similarly from the event page a activity application regulatory objective and parallel submission is created for the specific country and you can create in a bulk in rim uh, if you are not um, sure how to do that i can sh I i'll share a link from viva uh, there you can you know find how you can uh, the whole registration process they have described so you can uh, feel free to uh, you know watch that recording from uh, as well at later right so here uh, as i told from event uh, for a specific event you can create a activity application regulatory objective and submission and from regulatory objective you can control the registration so event so what is the, the what is event i already described you right the event is a uh, let's say a product modification or drug product modification required or a changes needed that is under event right and this event has classified one is a global event and another is, is a local event is based on the country right and activity so in the event what are the activity uh, need to they need to perform right so that will be captured under activity and application is a centralized folder there you can track event activity regulatory objective submission registration all those things that's why i call a centralized folder and regulatory objective is uh, for submission the submission that need to be sent to the whole health authority and for a specific submission there are couple of regulatory objective there so yep that's that's how the flow is work right and here in noted section i info i told that i described that our activity is a child of event object track the specific country or change in a specific market based on the parent so here there are couple of registration feature i have added so vault registration is built on vault platform and that include the feature described in the platform help topic in addition it include this capability and configuration specific to managing product and device information so there are couple of feature uh, i can share all the link uh, you can uh, go through in detail but here 
uh, I'm just added very specific term and very, very specific uh, term terminology. So yeah, so one is advanced data model and it really are advanced data model because you know, uh, registration object is contain event activity and registration object. It's included several object like event activity, submission, regulatory objective application. So this is the advanced data model and manage regulatory event. So and next is generate a history of registration data and provide an affiliate specific user interface. So affiliate user no need to, you know, uh, go through each and every individual object. So there are uh, specific tab there uh, in a page. So from that page, affiliate user can control event activity, regulatory objective and registration, right? And next is use regulatory objective data as source in manage register details wizard. So each and every registration details uh, data will be tracked under the report. So uh, let's be specific about advanced data model. So why it's called advanced data model? Because it built on strong industry best practice and ISO IDMP and IMDRF UDI standard. So what is IDMP? IDMP is a suit uh, of five standard developed within uh, international organization for standardization to facilitate the unique identification of medicinal product. Handle complex relational product and regulatory information and it's very easily extensible for custom data tracking. So that's why it's a advanced data model and another is manage regulatory event so volt registration provide the ability to manage and track regulatory event regulatory approval manufacturing changes level changes so as i already informed what event is event is something which need to be modified one is regulatory approval manufacturing changes level changes is all part of event quickly assess the impact of plan changes and take action volt provide bulk data creation so it will reduce the you know uh, manual effort so will provide a bulk data creation functionality tailored specifically for RIM registration which allow efficient creation of submission activity and regulatory objective for each event. So from event page you can able to create submission activity and regulatory objective and uh, you can link with our application. So it's very efficient tool. Uh, so I'm going to the next feature. One is uh, as I told that bulk creating activity submission and regulatory objective from event page. So here I took one of the screenshot. So you can see from the test event day three section from here you can uh, create record like activity submission regulatory objective and that you can link with application. So that will minimal your effort and you can create a necessary record from the event object, right? So yep, so I'm going to go into the next topic and the next feature. So manage the life cycle of detailed product information. So organization can capture, manage and track detail related to life cycle of product and their associated registration. So that you already know right so in a registration it going to going through the specific life cycle and that will be captured so generate history of registration data user can generate a historic view of registration data where you can uh, understand that how the the audit of the registration record so how the registration is going through what are the changes happen during the life cycle right so that all are that all are captured if you uh, generate a historic report, historic view of registration data to support regulatory requirement with this report, user can view a history of all registration changes globally. So this is all about our registration object and registration feature. And the registration is a very primary thing in regulatory information management system of FIBA. So if you have any question, please feel free to uh, add in the comment section and I'll share the necessary link of Viva product and you can check the registration product demo from the Viva site and stay tuned for the next video. Bye-bye.